Table Mountain Myths and Legends, the story of Kamata. The most prominent god amongst the Kosa-speaking people of southeastern Africa is Kamata. He is the creator and protector of heaven and earth and is the all-knowing and omnipresent god in the third dimension. In the second dimension lives the ancestors who cease to be in the physical realm and are guardians of humans living on earth. It's believed that during their existence in the physical world and by the instruction of Kamata, ancestors created spiritual entities that would be responsible for guiding human life on earth. Humans may not see them, but they appear spiritually, in dreams, or a chosen person sees them in the day. They appear in forms of figures humans can physically recognize. A mantis, fish, snake, lion, bee. These entities exist separately from creatures which they possess and have a clear identity of their own. Their intended existence was not only guidance, but also a form of communication between the physical and spiritual realms. In return, humans identifying as part of the Kosa tribe would then perform a spiritual ritual as confirmation that the message has been received, the necessary steps have been taken, and also to receive the blessings which Kamata has given. The cause of symbolism for Kamata is the sun as it represents the cycle of life, from birth to adulthood to death and rebirth in African spirituality. The symbolism of Kamata is a depiction of the power of African spiritual imagery on the human mind and the consciousness of the Kosa people. The image inspires the conception that Kamata created all things, is all-powerful, and is all-knowing.